After the long years with COVID-19 infection, we are now slowly gathering more data about the so-called risk of those infected with COVID-19 with regard to long COVID syndrome, specifically for those who have been infected for the last two years. The question is, if any of you were infected with COVID-19, are you at risk of COVID-19 long COVID syndrome? That's what this. We know that getting sick from COVID-19 is not fun. Long COVID, which is often defined as constellation of symptoms experienced for 12 weeks or more after a COVID diagnosis, is actually a medley of bad symptoms that can occur and affect us for months. Range of symptoms from fatigue to breathlessness to problems related to the brain such as lack of mental clarity, estimated to have affected more than 10 to 100 million people worldwide. Now, the intriguing news is that now data have come up and have shown that the symptoms do affect us even several years after COVID-19 infection and that after the so-called full recovery from COVID-19 infection. Now, in this recent publication in Lancet, the study found that those adults exposed to COVID-19 or infected with COVID-19 were at risk of developing the following seizure disorders, brain fog, dementia, and other mental health conditions up to two years after recovering from COVID-19. On the other hand, children who were infected with COVID-19 had a higher chance of being diagnosed with epilepsy or seizures, encephalitis, and nerve root disorders. Now, there was also a small but worrisome risk of being diagnosed with a psychotic disorder such as schizophrenia or delusional thinking. Now, the study, however, could not exactly tell if the people had experienced ongoing symptoms for the full, full two years since the COVID-19 diagnosis was made. The reason for that is the study only looked at the number of new diagnoses being made, not the persistence of the duration of symptoms. Now, for adults, however, the data was clear that the risk of developing brain fog dementia, psychotic disorders, epilepsy, and seizures remain elevated throughout the two years. Now, for the elderly, on the other hand, over the age of 65, once they have exposed and infected with COVID-19, these individuals had a 1.2% increase in risk of being diagnosed with dementia. Now, on the other hand, the risk of brain fog in children was noted to be transient, meaning there was no overall increased risk at any greater risk of being diagnosed with anxiety or depression after COVID-19, even in the first six months. But what I don't like or what I consider as worst news is that children who have been infected with COVID-19 had a two-fold increased risk of epilepsy and seizures and a three-fold increased risk of a psychotic disorder diagnosis in two years after having COVID. Now, what then is the long-term impact of this finding overall? Now, the evidence is particularly worrisome because even as the new COVID-19 variants are considered to be milder, we believe they still appear to have the same long-term consequences. For now, it seems that what we really know is much less than what we think we know about long COVID. It is therefore our appeal that we all remain vigilant not to let our guard down. Please continue to wear masks and avoid crowded places where you have to remove your mask and expose yourself 
to possible COVID-19 infection. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Watch for more updates as there are really many more questions than answers with regard to COVID-19 infection. Please continue to stay safe. See you again soon.